Well, everybody, I already made a video introducing you to my new wheelchair, so uh, I'm getting ready to do some work on it. And last night, a, a very good friend of mine, uh, we went over for Easter dinner, and uh, I asked him uh, if he would move out uh, my wheels, because when I was bringing my thumb around here, I would hit this guy, and man, it was hurting. So I needed it out a little bit further, so now I have a 32-inch clearance from the, the outer bar to the other side. Uh, but what I need to do now is where the brake is up here where this brake is uh, it does it does hit about right here but it doesn't get them all the way across so I need to bring it out so I just came out of the store um, at a local hardware store and I picked up the spacious for 33 cents a piece not bad but take a look this is what I noticed with the wheels out that far look what it's doing to the the lock it's kind of torquing out some and I'm really afraid that after time that's going to bust so uh, yeah, I think it's. Uh, I mean, look, look at look at right right in, right in that area. So if you did bring your tires out, I think we do need to bring those on. And out. Uh, so uh, what happened is the Loctite and everything I've used to try to keep these uh, free floating uh, nuts from actually uh, being loose has failed. So do yourself a favor, okay? If you're using stove bolts or uh, different kind of bolts, take your one bolt to the hardware store and have it match it up with lock nuts, actual lock nuts. There's no crown on them, they're normal lock nuts. Believe it or not, these are 14 cents a piece in 2015. So I don't know what it's going to be like in the future. All right, but uh, use those and uh, I'll show you how to put them on and to where it's not going to come loose on you and be tight all the time. All right, now what I did with this is I put the space run first. I have the space run on the, on the other one. Take your, um, take your lock nut with the narrow part on the outside, uh, going toward the inside of the chair, the, the flat one up against the rail in there. Stick it inside alright to where you see the threads and then go ahead and take that guy and screw it in. Now once you have them, uh, uh, both uh, what I call finger tight then you can take your screwdriver and push it in. The inside is uh, you know it's narrow enough to be uh, um, its own wrench and now it's going to be tough to turn because now you're going through the rubber of the uh, of the lock nut. So now you go down nice and tight on that one. You see the nut behind and it's going to start going in as the uh, threads go through it. Okay so this lock nut is going to keep it to where it's not going to loosen up. There should be no play but it should be able to move these back and forth. No matter how many times you move it, it's not going to come loose. Alright that's nice and snug. All right, let's see what it looks like with the tire on now. That look a whole lot better now. Okay, it actually is uh, it's full coverage on the tire. It actually comes out on the other side, and we unlock it, and it's not putting any any abnormal torque or uh, changing the direction of that. So it's really really nice. All right, but uh, like I said, keep an eye on it after a while. Make sure it doesn't loosen up. Okay, do the same thing to the other side. I don't think I need to show you that one. And that's how you adjust your your locks on the wheelchair if you move your uh, wheel out some more.